Mr. Spock, have you ever seen such fascinating creatures like these? Captain, might I remind you that in a first contact situation with new life forms, one must show less emotional response and a bit more logic? And might I add in your case, a pinch more self-control? But these neeks appear harmless, friendly, and perfectly... Captain, might I assume you're ready for a new shirt? Again? And a pair of pants, please. Good morning, students. Welcome to school. Remember, the thought of the day is... I owe it to myself to tell you, Mr. Griswold, that if you're thinking of taking the tribe cross country, this is the automobile you should be using, the Wagon Queen family truckster. You think you hate it now, but wait till you drive it. Welcome to Ecology 101, the standard geek in the ranch habitat. I'm Gary, and we are the Knights of Say Neek. Well, one night, but they're all here. <laughs> so, here in spirit. Uh, hey, so today, um, uh, now, just a reminder, Ecology 101, I don't, a lot of ways we call it a nerd geek, well, neek school, right? Learn all kinds of things from all our fandom movies and books and things that we enjoy and we're learning lessons and very much like school right so every school has an opening and every school has a closing i feel like bill and ted there for a second every cowboy sings a sad sad song but um we are near the end we are the end of a school year and a school year unlike any school year it was a covid school year and we made it through I, if you're still with us, you made it through. If you're still struggling, hang in there. You're going to get through. Uh, maybe you're, well, and, when, and this is funny that it happens to line up with our school year, too. We've got about a week left. So we're going to get a little jump in, and we're going to dismiss you guys about a week early. Well, kind of. <laughs> so I hope you had a good year. Um, you know, one of the things that, one of the things I want to do with my kids in class, and maybe I'll pass this on to you, is what to say thank you to COVID for. Because really, as you look back at all the things that have happened over the year, you think about what good things came out of it. And, and we talked about that. If you listen to our uh, WandaVision episode, we really went into how people work through trauma. And it's a really fun, fun episode. Thank you, for uh, Joel and Steve, for being on that one. We really enjoyed um, being able to do that one. But the thing is, uh, you have to think of the good that came out of it. Otherwise, it's like a black spot in your mind and heart. And you're going to always hate it. And you know where that goes. Ask Yoda where hate goes. But the thing is, um, think about this. What what good did you take away from COVID this year? I, for me, I think probably, well, I'm looking at our, our Ecology 101 studios here, which doubles up as my classroom. <laughs> so that's kind of fitting. The, the day job and the creative job are, are together. But I'm looking over at uh, the light setup, and, and I have this little... Um, of course, I had video I could show you, but I have one of our chairs, a milk carton, or milk crate, you know, and then I built this other stuff for, and a stool, and it's my computer, school computer, and able to uh, be a little more um, interactive with my kids and out of my seat. So, I mean, that's a good thing, and being a little more creative, and I like the fact of being able to get some things a little more ergonomic and, and streamline some things. And the great thing is my wife was able to use some of our equipment because we had to basically do a show every day. So that was good. We got a little more professional, being able to use more technology. It streamlined things. And I'll, I'll tell you a little secret. In fact, this, this episode today, we're going to kind of wrap up the year, do a little uh, what we learned <clears throat> kind of thing, and maybe plan ahead too. So, because in a way, technically, you never really graduate from ecology school. <laughs> it's, it's ongoing life learning all the time, right? And why would you? But the thing is, um, the one of the things that's really helped, and I don't know, and I'm sure I've said this a hundred times, so if I have, you tweet me or whatever you do. Just don't send a pigeon. They get messy. But, uh, and my, well, actually, you might. My cat would love it. Anyways, um, it'd be a snack, though. But the thing is, um, uh, a lot of the, the, the stuff I do in my class, the, I actually teach in English. English I'm actually in three, three uh three um, departments trying to get into one but you know it's okay it's where the needs are but I teach online writing uh, how to do podcast YouTube station 
all the things that we do here, we're trying to develop in our uh, forebear production, which we'll, I'll talk a little bit about that later too. Everything that kind of overshadows our uh, Nikology and Gottman Geeks and, and everything else like that too. But um, we're learning how to use this equipment, you're losing these technologies and getting more things out there. So we're always growing. I think it's great. And school is kind of catching up to all that. So that's been a good plus. And one of the fun things I actually like about, because I, you know, they have Zoom or Google Meet. One of the things I like about Google Meet was, you know, a lot of times, you know, I teach high school. A lot of times you're just like, hello, anybody out there? And when you have live bodies in your room too. But the great thing is uh, that not every kid is very vocal, but they will use the chat box. So that actually is kind of fun because I can get, one of the things about teachers is getting some feedback like, hello, anybody out there? And so the great thing is I'll do something with my kids in the morning. When they check in, we'll do, hey, favorite color, food, whatever. And before you start on your little bell work, and if you remember that from school, bell work is, you know, a little bit of reading or something before school, before officially starts class because you do have people that come in late and it gives you 15 minutes to attendance. So we do a kind of a fun reading long thing. But anyways, so I always tell the kids when you check in, all right, give me a, you know, favorite color, favorite ice cream, place you want to visit. And the good thing is I get, bop, 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 get that little bit of, you know, they heard me, which is great. And uh, we're able to get going. And the kids that don't, I go, oh, hello, you there? And maybe they're stuck or it's going on or maybe they're just, you know, keeping space. So they'll go, okay, that person's really not there. So there's a lot of neat things that are going to come out of all this. Um, and I really think school is more like how I kind of want to teach is that we're going to find out that a lot more people need community. They need to talk to people. They need to socialize. They need to interact. Believe it or not, there's such value in games. You know, I really, really, I've always believed that too. You know, some of the best times I have with my kids are on Fridays. We get our work done. Kids have study hall, can do study hall. Other kids, we're out there playing all kinds of fun board games and their brain things too. They're really good for me. And just kids are like, gosh, I've learned to focus better. This is a great game. Like rummy cubes. Awesome. Right. All the patterns in your head and very chess like, or, uh, another game that I love is called now. I always, I would pronounce it blockus or blocus. It's a spatial reasoning puzzle kind of game. And it's very fun because you kind of fill up the space. It's simple, but it's not. And one of my girls, uh, in fact, I, she, Oh, I like how the years run together. But one of the things she said is, I really, really, it really, it, it's it's connecting me, my brain, to all this good stuff. And then I think, you know, down the road, she ended up expecting to have a little one. She was, I'm buying that game for my kid. We're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. So, you know, when you're playing games at school, you're not just playing games, right? We're not goofing around being silly. But I think I think uh, education is starting to value the fact that we have to find ways to connect with kids uh, in real time and technology, find that really good, happy balance, all those good things. Right. Um, and, uh, so, you know, uh, again, I hope that you find something, maybe you connect your family more, maybe you learn how to make kombucha. I did, um, or some kind of skill. And maybe you're like Jimmy Wu and you learned, uh, um, close up magic, right? Like Ant-Man taught him or let him on. So the thing is take, take a little inventory, Tori, you know, as you're going through summer and go, man, what did I take away from this? What did I learn? And what am I going to plan ahead, right? So um, one of the things is um, we're going to give you guys an opportunity to catch up. Now, I know I know, there's people out there who, oh, I'm going to watch your show or listen to Nicology or read some blogs. And I know for me personally, um, I follow a number of bloggers and podcasters. Now, I'm really good about contacting my bloggers. Podcasters are a little different. I kind of get better about, you know, hey, love your show, blah, blah, blah. Or doing a couple of Patreons, I want to do that. But that online community, and one of the things is, I'm guilty of that too. Some of my bloggers, they post stuff every day. I'm like, holy cow! And I just try to do something with it, right? But um, catching up with them and connecting with them. The good thing is, when my kids read in the morning, I usually that's when I usually have about 15 minutes. I'll read a couple blogs, and there's a couple that be like Michael Michael um, Miller, who's out there, who you know he's got a real long blog, so I just have to. Yours is the one for today. But the thing is, um, we'd like to give you guys a chance to catch up because I will tell you, and I'm going to say this just as kind of our director, you might say, is we have some really fun episodes. I mean, we're at, uh, we should be, you should be 100 and, 102 just came out. So we are in our sixth season right now. Uh, and so that's been a fun fact. Our 102nd one is The Stand, which if you haven't seen that movie on Netflix, not Netflix, I'm sorry. 
It's on CBS All Access, which is now Paramount, Paramount Streaming or something like that. Ask Ask Patrick Stewart. He would know. But the thing is, um, you can't start my tables creaking here. Ooh, even our Nikki Ology 101 table is getting a little, needs a break. Anyways, and I apologize today. If the sound's a little different, I'll tell you what the scoop is. Is that uh, I'm trying to do a little stereo here. So if we stand a little stereo, 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 usually we each get one mic and it balances out, right? So we're each of us talking one ear, but I don't want to just talk to your right ear. I want to try to talk to both ears. So if it's a little echoey, you know, let me know if it's a it's a pain, but I'm trying to and I'm I'm running solo her today. It's just me and Grogu over there who's in a, sitting in the Star Wars bucket and making commentary. But uh hey, you know, until everything catches back up. But um where was I? Oh, uh yeah, catching up on things. So catching up on uh episodes, um a couple oh, there's a lot of fun ones. Now again, I always throw back episode 14, <laughs> which is the Star Trek universe. And maybe one of these days we'll upgrade that one. But it got I think we got all the way into Discovery. So if you aren't a Star Trek fan or you you have, but you want to see it all connects together, um, that was a fun one. But I'll tell you what, there's been a lot of fun episodes. I think back 100, oh my gosh, 100 some episodes. This is good. I mean, and considering we got through COVID and COVID, yes, like anybody else, it kind of threw us all for a loop. But... You know what? Thank you, Rudy and John and Ron and Aaron and um, Angie and all our special guests, John and the other John and Joel and Stephen and everybody else and Matt, who all participated and jumped in there, helped us out, make it going. We made it through the year, man. So it's a lot like uh, we are in school, digital school. We've always done digital school, but um, we made it work. So thank you so much. And I know there's a couple episodes that you might just hear me, but you know, everybody else is here.